Endometriosis. Endometriosis is a long-term condition where tissue similar to the lining of the womb is found elsewhere in the body. It's very common, affecting around 1 in 10 of those who menstruate. For some people, it can have a significant impact on their physical health, emotional well-being and daily routine. Symptoms can be different from person to person and month to month. Some common symptoms include pain in tummy, pelvis, lower back or legs, painful periods, heavy bleeding and fatigue. Hello there, hi, my name is Pat Mingus. I'm the Scottish Development Coordinator for the charity Endometriosis UK, where Britain's largest um, charity supporting people affected by endometriosis. And um, I'm a mother of an endometriosis sufferer, so I understand the impact of um, the condition. What does Endometriosis UK do to support those with endometriosis? We provide support, information and advocate for change. In Scotland, we run support groups across the board from Ayrshire, Dundee, Glasgow, Edinburgh. We run an online web service, chat service. We run an online health forum unlocked um, information service. We provide information and resources um, across the website. We've got a website with a wide range of informa information and webinars that in help people just gain information about um, endometriosis, their condition, what they might expect when it comes to hospital visits or expectations over what um, to expect in terms of follow-up and this sort of thing, um, or just basic detail that they might otherwise miss um, in the midst of a consultation, for example. We offer indirect support to people uh, via our employer's Endometrius Employer Friendly Scheme um, that supports employers and those who are, who are in employment who suffer from endometriosis, because you can imagine the impact on your work life can be quite vast. Why is it important to raise awareness about the condition? Endometriosis is a condition that affects one and a half million in the UK. It's the second most common gynaecological condition. It affects one in 10 women and those assigned female at birth. It's extremely common and yet it's very unknown and it's often a hidden illness for many people. The average length of time for diagnosis is sadly eight years in the UK. The Women's Health Plan for Scotland is very keen to see that change and reduce the time for waiting for diagnosis. It costs, on average, £8.2 billion a year in treatment, loss of work and health costs. What is Endometriosis Action Month? Every year in March there is an Action Month. It raises awareness of endometriosis throughout the, throughout the nation. Um, it'll run this year from the 1st of March till the 31st and the aim of it really is to raise awareness and call for change. So that's why it's called an Action Month. We want to see change and there is a number of ways that people engage in this, in this month. They share their stories on social media, they lobby their politicians for information and they support, different people support key tasks and um, campaigns that Endo UK are putting out. The theme this year is busting the myths and counting the costs. There'll be a themed week throughout the month um, with various uh, things to support that. Week one will be busting the myths on endometriosis and its symptoms. Week two, the financial cost of endometriosis. Week three, busting the myth endometriosis is not benign. And week four, the cost of endometriosis on relationships and mental health. Our webinar programme um, has weekly been to support these different themes. So we've got doctors answering facts and questions. We've got patients talking about their experience of endometriosis, people talking about the women's health strategy, quite an informed document that will drive some change. We've got um, Instagram live events. We've got some um, notable um, public figures who will be interviewed. As part of the month, we've got a number of activities planned, various things across the country. They range from 
um, tea parties, just to raise awareness amongst friends and family, maybe in the workplace, right through to the lighting up of um, the Falkirk Wheel or an awareness walk in Glasgow, parliamentary events and media polling. The fundraising activities fall into the category of three main things. Go yellow, maybe a fun way to raise funds across um, schools, workplaces um, and environment, different environments. This year, uh, going yellow for, and people are supplying different information why they're going yellow. A one in ten challenge. Some people are doing one in ten challenges based around one in ten squats, one in ten walks, one in ten cinema trips, one in ten buns, whatever. Or tea for endo, as I've already mentioned. Some people are having tea parties as a fundraising activity. Talking about all things um, menstrual, menstrual health, well-being, um, women's health can sometimes be a taboo and private subject and some people aren't always able to find the support or the help that they need. If you are one of those people and you would like further information or support from anyone across Scotland, please get in touch with us at endometriosis-uk.org and we'd be very happy to help you or signpost you to the right kind of information and help you might need. Visit www.endometriosis-uk.org or search for endometriosis on NHS Inform 